Welcome back to the Thursday Night Preview. This week, we got a good game. Eh, might not be a good game. Uh, Seahawks at Cardinals. Uh... Seahawks, Yo, Seahawks were rolling. I was I mean, saying, not for nothing, skins. Thursdays have been pretty good. They have. Yeah, for the most part. Shout out to the Jets getting a win. Shout out. Yeah. Grab the points. Yeah, shut me down. I was talking with the Bills last week. I was, And then it's like, you think they're the back to the old Bills, you know, six, what are they, five and two? They were five and two or six Yeah, and at two? the time, yeah, five and two, five and three now. It's like, yo, same old Bills. Yo, you say not much of a game, but if Arizona can win this game, and both of them have the same record. Well, yeah, what I'm saying is, like, do you, do you think that Arizona... I don't know. I, f- I feel like if it kind of changes my opinion that the Seahawks lost last week to the Redskins because I feel like they were rolling. Russell Wilson seems to be playing out of his fucking mind. Not still. last week. Well, I mean, yeah. Sunday. That's what I'm saying. I, not that. But the last few weeks before that, yeah, <laughs> they yeah. were rolling. So I was just like, okay. You know what I call that? And I wish he was here because I hate saying stuff when people aren't here. But it's the curse of Tim, bro. <laughs> All right, he crowned them it MVP. Is. He's going to be sick when he sees this. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Sorry, Tim. But I'll tell you later when I see you. So how do we think this game's going? I mean, the Cardinals, what's what's going on? Drew Stanton? Mm-mm. They I mean, got they got a win over the 49ers, which yeah. is kind of a – I mean, that's always a must win. A division game and, like you said, to get back to 500. So they gave AP the ball, what, 37 times on the ground. He caught two passes, so almost 40 touches. Career high in rushes. Dude. 37? Yeah, and now 37. you want him to play three days later? Against Seattle? I think that's a that's a tough one there. But he still might get 25 touches because that's the way that they'll win. Right. So you've seen where when they went to London, they fell behind 10 nothing, and AP's a non-factor then. He can't, he's not really the best guy at catching out the backfield. And if, you, if he's not getting carry after carry and getting in rhythm then he's he's a non-factor for that offense. And for them to win, they're going to have to just keep feeding AP, and pr- that's the way to protect Drew Stanton, who, by the way, is 7-3 and three as a starter for the Cardinals. <laughs> so is you he... You never guess. He's doing a decent job, I guess, over there. He's a, he's a solid backup. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he just... He won't win you a game, per se, but he won't lose you a game either. All right. So Unless he's, he's going to go out there and throw it 30 times, then it's... Then uh, it's well, he threw time. 30 against the Niners. Yeah, yeah, but there was no... Watching that game, though, there was no real threat of ever losing. It was one of those yeah, games yeah. where you're watching it, and you didn't think the other team had a chance. As close as the score might have been throughout the game, it, you never watched it and was like, you know what? I think San Franco win this game. People For wanted sure. to see Jimmy Garoppolo, but there the Niners offensive line just kept getting beat up not only that the guy got there fucking eight minutes ago like yeah, let him yeah, learn yeah, a yeah, play or two before you throw him out but there but the cardinals were able to generate a pass rush and the seattle offensive line still isn't that solid though they got dwayne brown that could be a recipe for success for arizona if they could get uh get to russell wilson yeah it's weird going into week 10 and we're talking about this game and the rams aren't first in the nfc west <laughs> six and two like alone up top yeah and now you have seattle who who just about, I mean, I thought, and I'm sure a lot of people thought they were going to walk through that weak Redskins offensive line. Didn't happen. Kirk Cousins comes down with a minute and change left and scores the go-ahead touchdown on that, first of all, a dime to Josh Dox. So yeah. I mean, Shaq Griffin ridiculous. is just, he's he's food. I, I've been saying this for the longest time where teams are going to just pick on Shaq Griffin. And look, he's not he's not the worst corner, but who would you rather throw at? Sherman yeah. or, or Griffin? So that's why he's just going to keep getting picked on. And we, we saw it, that game-winning drive. Yeah, two, two, two on his side. Yeah. And I, I think if you're looking at this game on Thursday, one of the Brown boys, whoever matches up with him, I think he's in line for a big game or, or a big play. And, you know, the last couple of times that we've seen these teams play, it's been like the field goal fest last year. Remember it was 6-6 on Sunday Night Football. And missed all like four in a row. Or yeah, so it, it really takes that one broken play from one of those guys and you have a lot of guys that are very similar you got you got the two the two brown boys on uh on uh, on There's the cardinals and then you got richardson and lockett who all fit that same mold of deep threat right. speedster right interesting uh but i mean you also got to i mean like you said i mean the, the ap thing really is a red flag to me you give someone the ball 37 times that's like unheard of and then, and now you're playing on Thursday, right. and he's 32 years old, like me. For, it's a, for you're asking a lot there. 
I'm not I'm not playing him at all in any of like my my DFS lineups. He's like a full fade for me. I can't see how that'd be possible for him to be that productive with this short of a turnaround. Mm. Like you saw him struggle when he went out to London, you know, with the time differences and all that. But this is this is tough. This is a, this is one of the reasons why it sucks having Thursday night football games. Do you think that even though he got worked a lot last week, they're still going to stack the box and make Drew Stanton beat him, or are they gonna just a thousand percent? Yeah. Them? Why wouldn't you? I mean, just saying. I think like you said too early though. IP still gonna get his touches. Like I'm not gonna be surprised when he sees twenty to twenty five carries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are, are they gonna be effective though? That's the thing. That's true too. And then not only that, but then. The following game? That's a lot. <laughs> you just got yeah. like three games worth in two games or some shit. It's a lot of carries. Um, the if line he, on this is like six, I think, right? Yeah, six. Uh, Seattle. Favorite. Ay. So think about it. If if Seattle was the home team, flip the point spread and add six points. So you're looking at Seattle as like a 12 to 13 point favorite. Would you be confident in taking that? 13 at home? Yeah. If Seattle was at home, they'd be a 13 point favorite. Would you be confident? Uh, Cause that's how you should really approach road favorites when you're looking at a point spread. You know, take them at home and add six points to that. I think I'd be moderately confident. I mean, they wouldn't have to try. They played home last week, but uh, you know, they they need a bounce back effort after that poor performance against Washington. And the way the Rams are steamrolling and putting up does that their third game of forty points plus. The Seahawks are going to have to hang with them. Now they play them again one more time down the road, so that's a benefit for the Seahawks. Um, but they can't let up because they they already lost the. Uh, no, they do have the. They head beat. To head on yeah, the they, I'm sorry. They beat the Rams. So I mean, I would take. I think they're they're gonna come out desperate. Uh, Russell Wilson. I mean, he ran for 77 yards too. Like you can't. Even though he didn't have a, that good of a game. Yeah, his box score air, don't look that bad. Yeah, he like he was putting up yards, but he was on his completion percentage was shot. Yeah, like 24 or 45. So I think I would take that number at home, and I kind of like it here on the road too, just because I think it's desperation, and. I mean, we're harping on it, but the AP factor, like how how much is this guy going to give you? Like Drew Stan is going to have to throw, especially if they're playing from behind. Like you said, like we saw in London, he didn't see the ball after they fell behind. And he won't see the ball if they fall behind. If they have to air it out, Ellington's going to be back oh, there. Be there. So yeah. I kind of like Seattle here with the points. I like six. I don't know about 13. I don't think that Seattle's playing. Yeah, no, that's just something like that's just something to like think about. about. Right. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be like, yo, let's uh, thirteen. Like I'm not that confident. But like six, I I could see them beating them by a touchdown. I found myself taking favorites. Last week I took a road favorite, didn't pay out pay off. I mean, I know you said the jet you took the Jets. Yeah, I like the Jets last week. I'm gonna uh, I think I'll go with Seattle. You bring up good points, how they lost pretty embarrassing like that was a jv offensive line that washington put out there and oh yeah and they were beating up cousins too hats off to kirk cousins yeah he was being a tough there. sob but for the most part I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna lean with seattle also yeah, that i mean I'm, you're talking about that i'm just thinking about kirk cousins getting popped and then hitting brian quick on the sideline on shag Griffin. yeah that yeah. was crazy that was a dime too all right i'm, I'm gonna go seattle too clean sweep sweep sweeping it up all mm-hmm. right There you have it. Thursday night preview. Seattle minus six. Book it. We'll see you next week.